There comes a time in a man's life, there comes a time in a woman's life, where man and woman come together and watch the last talk show together. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for clicking on this wonderful how-to episode. It's another one. It's another one because you can never stop being informed. You can never stop being in the know. And I want you to know all about The Last Talk Show. Before we dive into this episode, I'm going to beg you. I'm going to ask that you would subscribe. You would subscribe to our YouTube so I can continue to feed the big family that I have and that The Last Talk Show can grow and that Richard Schwartz doesn't attempt to cancel us at the end of another season. So this how-to episode is going to help you a lot. It's going to help you a lot. I don't care how old you are. I don't care where you've been. I don't care where you're going. This how-to episode is going to help you. How to ace the job interview. How to ace it. How to do an outstanding job to where that employer could hire you on the spot to, to keep it a stack with you, Jack, to keep it a buck with you, Chuck. How to ace the job interview. Let me give you step one. Let me give you step one. Confidence. You gotta have confidence. And, and confidence should be applied in every aspect of your life, essentially. Uh, you, you shouldn't be afraid to pursue your passion. You shouldn't be afraid to achieve your A word, but not, not that kind of A word, like achieve your aspiration. That's good, that's good. As Achieve it. Do what you have to do to get to where you want to go. Confidence. You go into that job interview. Don't don't be no whim. Don't be John Pointer. No, like yo. Hi. Yeah. It's me, John Pointer. Big smile. Big smile. I, I, even if you ain't got all your teeth in there, still smile. Smile. Even yeah, my, my brothers and sisters, black people, they don't say smile. They say smile. So when you go into that job interview, I want you to smile. That's step number one. And that's all tied up in the confidence. That's all tied up in step one, confidence. That's how you're going to ace that job interview. You know what? I'm going to call that step two. I'm going to just make that its own step. Step one, confidence. But let's do step two, smile. Smile. Okay? No one wants to go in. If you just have a basic face. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I worked at blah, blah, blah. You're not going to get the job. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Well, there's a few places that'll hire me, but you don't want to work there. I won't say the name of those places, but you don't want to work at places that'll hire you. <laughs> the kind of customers coming in there, you won't like that. You won't like that. Smile! It really doesn't hurt to smile. So tied up with the confidence, that smile can get you places, can get you to see some other smiling faces so you can get the job. You want to clean up, okay? When you go on a job interview, hopefully you're not just doing it for the fun of it. Hopefully you're doing it because you want to work. You want a job, which is a great, honorable thing. If you want to work, some people just want to lay on their butt all day, couch potato, and do nothing. No. If you want to work, do your best to get that work. Do your best to get that job. Am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? No. No, I ain't. Smile, confidence, those are the first two steps. And I'm, I, I really, I, I've, got, I've, got, I've got a third step for you. Yeah, I've got a third step for you. Breath mints. Breath mints, wow, now John, in, in a previous how-to, you said use breath mints when you're telling somebody that they breath stink. But, as I said, keep breath mints on you at all times. Keep it on you at all times. In the job interview, now a lot of, now, now if you see this wonderful desk that, that John Boyner and Richard Swartz, the network has provided, uh, some job interviews, you're pretty darn close to the person interviewing. You are pretty darn close. Now, if they smell that breath in the job interview, do you think they're going to want to hire you? they got to train you. They don't know. You might be at this place for 30 years. This might be a career job. You at that Taco Bell, you might be there for 30 years, which is good. I ain't dissing Taco Bell. You might be there for 30 years. So what does that mean? they got to put up with your bad breath for 30 years? No, you don't want that on the job interview. Keep, keep it fresh. And I'll give another shout-out to our sponsor. They're paying us big bucks to get this. Vince, so lonely at Trader Joe's. Thank you. Make sure you uh, support mints. Keeps you fresh, winter fresh, sugar free, all that good stuff. Keep your breath mints on you while you on the job interview, because you don't want your employer, your potential employer. Make sure we keep that word potential in there. You don't want them to smell that breath and be like, I can't work with that person. I I, I couldn't put up with you know you know a nice person, nice guy, nice gal, but that breath. Holy mackerel! Keep the breath mints on and. My fourth and final step for you, I, you know, I love to keep these how-to episodes very brief, very quick. 
$100 Starbucks gift card. Yeah, yeah, now I'm going to keep it real with you. I, if you ain't got the money, you don't have to do this. But uh, the great uh, Cialdini, a uh, great, great uh, theorizer on persuasion tactics, uh, argued that reciprocity, reciprocity, is a great tool that you can use to persuade someone to do something. So that's the, the idea of giving something to get a little something back. Giving something to get a little something back. For example, Costco, 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 you love Costco. You better they give you samples for just walking around. You ain't got to buy nothing. But then the science behind it is then when you try a little something, it's going to be like, man, well, they gave me a little something. Maybe I ought to just get it. And the person that gave it to me was smiling and was confident and said, hey, you want to try a piece? And you said, yeah, okay, I'll try that little walnut cookie. Reciprocity. So what am I saying that to say? What am I saying that? You give them a $100 Starbucks gift card. The person is going to be like, man, I, I guess i got to give them the job. They gave me a gift card. That's the only way I've gotten my jobs. And, and see, the terrible thing is I wasn't applying the other steps. I wasn't confident. I wasn't smiling. I was so basic in these interviews. But once I pulled out a $100 Starbucks gift card, and who doesn't like Starbucks? Hello. I got the job. I got the job. It was wonderful. It was magnificent. It was perfect. Because I followed that step. So if you can't afford it, do it. If not, it's okay. Just make sure you have the smile, the confidence, and the breath mints. This was another how-to episode. I want you to succeed. I want you to grow. Comment. Let me know if that worked for you. Continue to subscribe. Continue to like. And we're going to see you on the next how-to episode of The Last Dog Show. Thank you.